when I began posting videos on this channel in 2013 and when it increased in 2014 if I had a hidden camera to record how often people spoke fear into my circumstances you'd be shocked Rashid, stop making all those videos. You, know, you don't know who's watching them. Oh dear, people are gonna know who you are. Stop making those videos. People that can't stand you are gonna be frustrated because now they're, they're gonna be upset with themselves. Oh man. I'm not even going to repeat all the BS people threw at me. And not all were people far off, from far off. I mean, seriously, when I became successful in making videos and in reaching people a lot of people just appeared speaking fear into my circumstances sometimes strangers began to suggest outcomes on, onto me just like that that's how you know demon spirits are working through them I mean now that I reflect back I think what the heck is this so hold on a minute I'm recording videos informing people about the spirit world how things should really work I'm I'm offering life-saving knowledge for free without asking for tithes, without asking for church membership because I don't even have a church yet people become terrified of me but those but those murderous wolves that lead those pagan churches that bring people in bondage and exploit people's souls they are respected and despite being proven that they are lying to the people in the name of Christ, people still have respect for them. They still give them validation. But with me, they want to argue, they want to fuss, they want to fight, they want to uh, lose it. And there's another thing. I had people telling me that I should just take it easy, forget all about the little spiritual stuff and just see where things head up, uh, end up. And I began to think, they say settings in such a way, and I began to think, hold on, hold on a minute. So I have to become a reprobate, just being blown by the wind, not knowing where I'm ending up. Just to please people who themselves don't want to be challenged by their stagnation, uh, they want to be challenged by those who are not in stagnation. Because you have those who are stagnating, and they want you to stagnate also. Because when you're not stagnating, but you're in movement, it reflects onto them, and that's going to look bad onto them. And now they have to give an account to themselves and to others why they're stagnating. So when you are in movement, they will make you their enemy. They will make you their target. Why? Because they want to remain at ease at all costs. And when their injustice is challenged, oh dear, they can't handle that. What I'm saying in this video is the following. Anytime you do something world, worthwhile, anytime you do something that has a blessed outcome, expect some kind of BS is going to rise against you. That's why it's very important to know who is close to you. Because the enemy will use those close to you to wear you out, to, or, or to wear you down, whatever, whatever expression you want to use. And the people that were close to me, that began to open their mouths. They were so-called the experts on what I had to do with my life and how I ought to do it. Because they kept informing people going to talk about you, people going to do this. They keep, they kept on imagining bad outcomes and reporting those bad comes out to me as if it already happened. And I was thinking, who sent you? Oh, and I knew who sent them already. So what did I do? Gone. I'm not saying I went no contact immediately, but I began to lower contact. And I made plain, uh, I don't trust you guys. I really don't. I'm very straight up in that. When you cannot be trusted because you may hold on to danger, I tell you as it is, I don't trust you. But some folks couldn't handle that. But they did want me to handle them transferring danger onto me by their suggestive witchcraft. Expect out of control out of hand, backhanded behavior from reprobates and from people that don't want to look beyond. Expect that when you do something worthwhile. Even unbelievers, that means worldly people who don't follow Christ, do something worthwhile, they get this. 
you have to learn to stand the heat and continue because the enemy's goal is to wear you out so you'll either fail you'll either collapse or you'll give up because it's too hard i'm telling you when hell arrives keep going because if you're born again you could deliver from you are saved and you will never see second death so no so no matter what hell you encounter here on earth it's nothing well that's it for now keep on going i know it will be tough just keep on going and what i said in a previous video when christ deletes five people from you associate with ten others what I'm saying is, remain active. When Christ cuts people from you, it's because he wants you to remain in movement. Because those people that were lined up with you, they were not in movement. So if, if they're not in movement, and they want to be with you, ask yourself, why are they with you? They don't want to move. Yet they're with you. Who is in movement? It doesn't add up. Who sent them? Well, that's it for now. I agree with Christ and be at peace.